But first here's Ted with the Acura Legend sedan. Because the Toyota Lexus and Nissan Infiniti seem to be in the limelight these days, it's easy to forget that Acura really set the table for upscale Japanese cars in North America. For 1991, the Acura Legend has a completely new look with a new body style, drivetrain, and new interior layout. There wasn't much wrong with the old model, but now it's even better. Honda has started with a clean sheet of paper with the new Legend, and will be offering two trim levels, L and LS. The engine has been reworked and increased in size to 3.2 liters with a power output of 200 horsepower at 5,500 RPM. This is up 40 horsepower from the last year's model. Two transmissions are offered, five-speed manual and a four-speed automatic. Our test car was equipped with the automatic. One of the few complaints against the first generation of Legend was that the V6 engine in it lacked low-end torque. That problem has been remedied, and the new power plant features an aluminum engine block, twin overhead camshafts, and four valves per cylinder. It can reach zero to 100 kilometers an hour in about eight seconds. And Honda has relocated it from a transverse, or east-west position, to a longitudinal, or north-south one. Like its predecessor, it benefits enormously from Honda's Formula One technology. Honda has also fitted a larger capacity power steering pump into the new legend. A small point, perhaps, but one of the shortcomings of the older car was that the power steering could be fooled during low-speed parking maneuvers. Inside the car, the instrument cluster has larger analog dials, and some of the controls, such as the power windows and cruise control, have been repositioned. All Legends have a driver's side airbag, and the upscale LS model has driver and passenger airbags. Walnut burl trim is also featured on the LS. Acura called the new interior a dual phase one with a solid functional zone and a soft fit zone. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it seems to work well enough. I like the look of the new legend. As usual, Acura has been pretty conservative here, rounding the corners, softening the car's lines, and not getting too carried away with styling cues. I'm still trying to decide if I like the new front grille arrangement, but the rest of the car is pleasant enough. I find the sedan more appealing to the eye than the coupe, which wasn't the case with the older model. The new Legend also feels more solid than the old. I spent quite a bit of time with it, and body stiffness is much improved. Again, Acura has done some work here, adding strength to the cabin structure, extending the wheelbase, and widening the road stance. If I have any complaints at all, it's that road noise is still a minor problem, although it's better than it used to be, and the climate control system is still more trouble than it's worth. When will car makers get the message? Climate control systems are no damn good. Read my lips. With a starting price of $42,240, there aren't too many options with the Legend. All models are pre-wired for cellular telephone, and the LS can be had with an upgraded stereo system, CD player, four-way power seat, leather trim, and illuminated entry system, among other things. Competition for the Legend hasn't changed much. Lexus and Infiniti are definite rivals, as is the BMW 525, Audi 100 and 200, Volvo 9 Series, Mercedes 190, and Saab 9000. The best legend yet, I guess, Tony? Well, no question about that. The styling I like a lot. It's got a really sweet engine, and the whole feel of the car is great. Mm. I agree with you about the climate control, a real mess up. And I was annoyed that the steering wheel didn't tilt in a car at this uh, price. Mm -hmm. and, and it had a strange habit, I found, of, it, of, of revving too much when it was cold and That's almost right. running away with you. I found that too. In the morning, uh, during cold start, the engine would idle at about 1800 RPM. And if you weren't careful, the car would run away with you, and you'd find yourself over braking overly hard to uh, compensate for it. It was a real problem. It definitely was. I found that, and I, I, I happen to drive very, very slowly down the street uh, where I live. It's, it's heavily populated and so forth, and mm -hmm. people running around and what, what, whatnot. And I thought that, you know, I, it, I, I, it was me at first. I thought, what am I doing? Yeah. I've got my foot yeah. on the accelerator yeah, or something. It's one of those things. The yeah. car takes yeah. off and, yeah. and off. But mm -hmm. that aside, it, it is a wonderful car. And yeah. I remember the first Legend I drove. I, the first luxury Japanese car I ever tried, mm -hmm. and to me it felt just like a Mercedes. Yeah. I think they've done, as, they've done as much as they can with the engine of the one. I think 200 horsepower is, is almost pushing it for a front drive car. I really think that, that if they put any more power under the hood of this thing, it's going to be almost uncontrollable. A very nice engine, but more than powerful enough. Well, I agree. It is, it is powerful enough, and it's, it's, perhaps it's even luxurious enough. You mentioned you didn't like the uh, nose job on the car. I think it's a wonderful Well, no, no job, I didn't man. say that. I, I, I said I was trying to decide if uh, I liked it or not. I think but, I, do like do. Okay. It. I do like it. We should throw in here that the coupe will be available uh, any time now, meaning this spring. Right. right. It's been at the auto shows. It's yeah. a very smart car. But going back to that nose Job, but so many Japanese luxury cars look the same, you know, a very, very similar yeah. appearance. I agree. This, that it, this is just different this time. I've got to cut you off, Tony. It's red light green. I'd love to talk about with this car. Uh, what don't we like? Road noise, a little excessive, not bad. Climate control system, a disaster. We both think so. Uh, on the other hand, powertrain is very refined, very powerful. Driver and passenger airbags, excellent feature. 
as far as driving dollar value goes, I give it three quarters of a tank because of that fast idle problem. Okay, we'll be 